All right, the moment we've been waiting for, converting. What are we going to convert? X to decimal. So we pick some easy numbers, A1, B3, FF. So we're going to go ahead and do A1 first. So we got to break it down, right? Each one is four bits long. Let's get our red pencil, which is right there by default. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, line, one, two, three, four. Meaning this side is for the A and this side is for the number one. Let's put the bit values underneath each one. One, two, four, eight. One, two, four, eight. Well, if we know our hex table, which we should, but regardless, I have a spreadsheet that will upload so you, everyone can have it. All right. So we turn on the eight and we turn on the two. That's eight and two is 10. There you go. Zero, zero. All right, then we have one. Well, that's pretty simple. We turn that one on, zero, zero, zero. Well, there's your binary. How about that? One, zero, one, zero, 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 one. So that is your binary, but we're looking for the decimal. Well, let's put this in blue this time. All right, let's put this in blue. And we got one, two, Four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two, sixty-four, and one twenty-eight. And I'm sure you're very familiar with these numbers. So what do we need to add? We need to add the one twenty-eight, the sixty-four, and this little number one right here. Okay, all those three numbers we need to add because they're odd. So one, this one up here, one twenty-eight plus thirty-two is 160 plus one is 161. So A1, A1 has an equivalent to 1161 in decimal. That didn't take long, that is not difficult. We're gonna do another example anyway, all right? Well, there you go, that's it. You break down into the binary format, you add the binaries that are on, and you're done. Now again, where does this become difficult? That's when you have an instructor that wants to give you a number like, well, what about 65,282? Why don't you convert that for me? And then that's when you pop out the calculator. But in a certification exam, they're not gonna do that. They're not testing your math skills, they're testing your knowledge to see if you know how to even start to convert a number. All right, but again, old, old school network engineers, don't worry about it. CCNA, not there anymore. But again, just so you know. So we got that there. Let's just erase this portion of it right here. So you can at least have that answer right there. All right, let's go for black now. So we're gonna do B3, B3, same concept, same concept. One, two, Three, four, line. One, two, three, four. This is for B. This is for three. Okay, now we put what? The bit values. One, two, four, eight. One, two, four, eight. Well, if A was 10, B is 11. Okay, well, eight and two is 10. And one, well, that's 11. And then this is a zero. All right, let's, let's make it an actual zero by putting the line down the middle, right? And then three, well, that's two and one. Zero, zero. There's your binary once again. One, zero, one, one, zero, zero, one, one. Then you add, and we'll change that to blue, just to have a different color to make it easier to see. I'll try to make the numbers better, okay? One, two, four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two, sixty-four, one twenty-eight. So what are the numbers that we need to add? We need to add the one twenty-eight, the thirty-two, the sixteen, the two, and the one. Well, we already know that one twenty-eight and thirty-two is one sixty. 
So if we add 16 to that, that's 176. Okay, and then we add three because two and one is three. That's 179. So B3 is an equivalent to 179, 179 in decimal. And again, it is the same format we use over and over again. We break it down, right? We get the binary, binary is the middle ground, and then we just add the big values we're on. Last example, and this one's really easy, really easy. And I'm sure you already have the answer for it already. But we're just going to do it just to do it. Let's go ahead and take black again. FF. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Again, this side is for F, and this side is for the other F. Well, one, two, four, eight. One, two, four, eight. Well, F is the last number or the last hex number in that table. So it's 15. So 8 and 2 is 10. And 4 is 14. And 1 is 15. So they're all on. 1, 2, 3, 4. Well, there's your binary. So 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. If you add all those bit values, what you're going to get is 255. So FF is 255. That's as hard as it gets to convert from hex to decimal with no calculator. It's that simple. It didn't take that long. But just follow the concept. And always remember, it's your middle ground. And that's it for this lecture. I'll see you in the next one.